NIH National Institute of Mental Health presents Jane the Brain, a smiling pink brain with purple eyes and purple pigtails. Stress. Hello kids, meet Jane the Brain. Today we're gonna learn about stress with Jane and how to bounce back from tough situations. Are you ready? Sometimes even Jane the Brain feels stressed, just like you. Frowning, Jane sits at her school desk. A math quiz has a D grade and a sticky note reads big math test soon. Jane has been struggling in math. And with a big test coming up, she's nervous. She wants to do well and is scared she might disappoint her parents. Oh, and don't forget the science fair, Jane. Another note reads, and science fair next. In each hand, Jane holds stacks of books, other school items, and the words math test and science fair. The stacks wobble as she tries to balance them. Jane has a lot to do, and she's really stressed out. When you feel stressed out, you might get a stomach ache, feel tense, or feel your heart beat faster. Santos the stomach clutches his belly and Halima the heart pulses. Jane the brain's alarm system has been activated. A drawing shows the outline of a kid and their brain. Labels point to parts of the brain. The limbic reward system, amygdala. Called the amygdala, this part of her brain sends out signals to her body in the form of adrenaline and cortisol, which tell her that something terrible might happen. Now Jane the brain is in a real mess, a stress mess, and it's become hard for her to think clearly. But there are ways to handle stress. Don't worry, Jane. First, take deep breaths. Called box breathing, watch how Jane takes a slow breath in and out holding a couple of seconds before repeating. Jane breathes in and out as a clock ticks. Behind the kid, the words adrenaline and cortisol fade. Then holding a balloon, Lamar the lungs floats near Jane who waves. Jane can also talk to a trusted friend or adult and get help making a plan. Studying together is a great idea, guys. And don't forget, getting exercise and fresh air can help reduce stress too. Jane rides a bike. Then she smiles and balances the stacks of books and words. The stacks shrink and the word resilience appears behind Jane. Jane still has a lot to do, but she feels more relaxed and less worried about how to handle things. She's building her resilience. When she started to feel overwhelmed, she used coping skills to get back on track. She took deep breaths, made a plan to get her work done, and got some exercise. Coping skills take practice, but you can become more resilient like Jane too. Grinning, Jane holds up her math test. It has an A grade on it. A first place ribbon hangs on her science fair project. If you're interested in learning more about stress, ask a grown up to go to nimh.nih.gov stress. There you'll find more information and can download your very own coloring book.